Howdy, how are you doing? We're here at the uh, back of the ice cream truck where the training wheels have come off. Now right here, satisfying satisfy something I've been worrying about for a while. The quality of my weld. Ow, 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 that's hot, that's hot. Ow, ow, it's mildly warm. <laughs> um, right here. I am getting such good penetration. That was there. Line the cut up. Line the cut up. So that's where that's at. Where that scratch mark at is the surface of the weld. Pow! Look at that penetration, baby. And that's just a tack weld. Yeah, here, here's my strut right here, or brace, or whatever you want to call it. Ain't beautiful, but ain't no, that's overhead welding. I got lots of grass fire down here. And they, I, I think I'm doing pretty good for, for my first, for my first project. So that's that one right there. And we've got another one over there ready. This can be a lot easier. This one, I had to do a lot of filling. Actually, a because I ate through the bump right there. It's really thin over here. Whereas this side over here, it's got back, it's got structure to it. So I'm looking at this. One quarter of this is going to be right over here. So that additional brace right there, going across the back, is going to be a, a lot of a lot of help to it. Um, I might actually take this piece of stock right here and uh, run that across the back there. I might be able to, because uh, we'll see where that landing gear is going to land, because I, I, I anticipate that landing right there. So if that moves that any much too much forward over here, I'll have to put another brace right here, and that's fine. Also, I got to put a couple lesser braces right here to support the sheet metal. And of course, the angle iron I'm going to put right through here and here, making this all one big cradle, going to help a lot too. Then I got this right, this right here. This is a um, vertical support for my um, straps that are going to come right here out in the space and I'm probably gonna have to triangulate some type of bracing for it from right here well as high as I can just the bigger the triangle the stronger Re redistribution of forces anyways I'm stoked I'm um, about three quarters of the way there I'm, I don't know maybe maybe it's like 65 because I, I still got to deal with cutting this um, mat right here and make making the 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 bed of the cradle and then the arms which is those pieces right there i'm probably like 60 percent done with this but again major major um point a brace and the um training wheels are off uh, looking at this right here we got a little bit of a uh, lean to the left here a little bit of down plate to the left um Not really much I can do about that at this point, but it's less than a degree or two. Not anything to really ultimately worry about long term. Again, I might just run this thing a season and then sell it. I might I might sell it, put it for sale over the winter time, and, and get 135 out of this as is. Move on to the other endeavors. Hey, buddy. All right, let's go back inside and uh, and regroup. It's hotter than fucking blazes out here. I can only come out here for small periods at a time. Plus, I've got this heavy leather, heavy leather welding jacket on. It doesn't make it fun. I, I wish I could have work inside. And then I'm gonna take that pigtail right there and have um, somebody, a professional electrician, 
hit that part right there. I'll, I'll, I'll give him $150 to do that. Just make sure. I have an extension cord I can put under the door there, but I, I want to, I want things done the right way as 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 a, as a point of practice for the next things. I, I I want proper, and then um then we'll work on the rooftop AC to keep the interior cool, which again makes the freezer run more efficiently, which puts less of a load on the generator, which is um yeah that might be a net zero on that one because. The, um, the power that the AC unit probably is just as much as what I'm going to save in refrigeration costs or freezing costs, but I'm going to have the um, ability to go deeper in, into the freezing cycle, um, such as this unit over here can go to negative um, 20, but without AC, it seems only go to negative 5. And again, I want to assure and ensure the um product quality being as i am calling myself a premium ice cream delivery service distribution business well, let's get back in here and uh get some liquid refreshment uh and then we'll start, um, we'll start, um, this guy's in that generator here pretty soon. I'm going to start taping it up and getting it looking like that one. With a little bit more detail to the, this part right here. Of course, then if I do that to that one too, if I actually do this deliberately, it, um, again, it, uh, makes it less attractive and of a, of a target for thieves and then I also have the door ring bell and um yeah I live out in the middle of nowhere anyways so it's not like I'm gonna have any trouble with that all right I got a dog over there once in that house I gotta get the mamaki legs back on that so I can get it producing here pretty soon and then um Hopefully we can be moving forward by this, on this by Wednesday with a load of ice cream. Hopes and prayers. Talk to you later.